was a bad day and we didn't really have the exact motivation to come work out, it, uh, we'd, we'd always look at this and just kind of put things in, in perspective and see why we do it. The effort always has to be there, regardless of the situation. We try and embody that in uh, our play and just how we live our lives. That's the, that's, used to be the treadmill, that's uh, the lone sporting goods store. We used to get all our uh, cleats and uh, basketballs and stuff in there. Uh, Somerset's a very small town. It's factory oriented and taverns and restaurants and very intimate, friendly, real Wisconsin kind of a town. So my parents thought it would be better to send us to a uh, college prep school over in uh, St. Paul. So uh, every day, me and my sisters, when they were still in high school, they'd uh, drive over and we'd make a 30-minute trek to Hill Murray High School in, in Maplewood, Minnesota, and it really paid off. I always thought I'd be a basketball player. I would always give effort, and I always I loved playing defense and rebounding, so that's kind of my persona. But um, sophomore year of high school, when I played varsity, was truly when I developed my love for football. Then I, that's when I kind of start having basketball take a back seat to football. And um, as I grew in that and I was able to grow in um, my development, I kind of realized more and more how much I love football and how much I didn't want it to end after senior year was done. We had a defining moment probably his sophomore year in high school. We were playing St. Thomas Academy and one of the top teams in the state of Minnesota. And he got run over a couple times in the first half. And honestly, the look in his eyes when he came to the sidelines, I wasn't sure if he was ready to go out, but he came back the second half, had nine tackles, and uh, right then I knew he was a football player. I never experienced a game until my junior year of high school. On my actually, the first game I was able to go to was an uh, inaugural Big Ten game against Nebraska, the night game. That was a real treat. That was my first time seeing jump around in person. I was kind of starstruck at that point. I think there's some picture of me somewhere just kind of gazing at it and it's, it's really, it's, it's mind blowing. So they kind of just added fuel to the fire in a sense and just kind of grew my love for, for Madison and the Badgers. You know, long and the short of it, he really didn't get recruited. He was set on Holy Cross when he and I went out there and he had an official visit. And on the way home, actually, he and I were on the plane and he, I said, well, what do you think? And he was on board, but he said, I'd really like to give Wisconsin one more shot. My coach in high school that time had actually coached with Coach Bush. Two days after I got home, my coach was like, Coach Bush is gonna call you, and he, he, really, he really wants you to come down for a walk-on thing, and as soon as I heard that, I kind of already knew. And so then he goes through the summer and ups and downs, you know, he's finding his place, doesn't make the 105 in fall camp until three days later and they call him back and he comes running into our bedroom and is so excited. I'm going, they want me back. As a parent, you're just so thrilled that he's gonna be a part of that. He's actually gonna be a part of it. There we go, that's it right there, good. I was told by my dad that uh, you're not guaranteed anything, but if you work hard and um, you keep working hard, that uh, eventually your time will come if you deserve it. And I, I tried taking that approach every day. I was never really worried about if I would ever get a scholarship or if I were to play. I was always kind of just worried about just working my butt off and trying to, trying to make a good impression. With every play, and we've always talked about it, with every play you get, the game slows down and he will admit to that as well, that the game has slowed down for him to a point where everything is a little bit more in slow motion and have the time to react and process. Kessler, pressure coming in, ripped down by Sitchi. And Sitchi with his first impact play of this game after missing the first half. I came out with some fresh legs and I just tried my best to help the team whatever I could and that meant getting three sacks and that's what, that's what I had to do. It was probably one of the more surreal moments that I've been a part of because you have to ask yourself, did that just happen in the last minute and a half? Quite honestly, in all the years I've been watching and playing football, I've never seen anything like that. So it was a special moment. In the heat of the moment, I didn't really think about it. But when I got back to the bench and everyone was like coming up and I was out of breath, everyone was coming up and congratulating me, I kind of like, it was like, wow. And it's a unique feeling to be able to have that impact and I'm blessed to be able to say that that happened. It was a great experience and I'm looking forward to some better experiences this year with my teammates.